What's happening, guys? Uh, I wanted to make a response to another fellow YouTuber, uh, Alves Manders. I'm sorry if I butchered the name. But he was talking about his Weebrew Warriors and one of the problems he was having. So, first I'll start off by saying a little bit about the Weebrew Warriors. As an Olympic shoe, and really as probably um, the cheapest of Olympic shoes, opposed to like, Nike, I don't know if it's Ramaleos or Romilios, um, or Addy Power, or Addy Powers, Adidas Addy Powers, or even Power Lifts. Um, this, the, these are probably the cheaper of the Olympic shoe. I think I got these for 65 because it was a good deal somewhere. Um, I would say these rank right up there with probably the Adidas Power Lifts, which I think are like 80 or something like that. Um, and then, obviously, uh, Addy Powers or Ramaleos up in the $200 range are probably, you know, your level one Olympic lifting shoes. But, uh, so the only problem, the only complaint that I had with these was after only like maybe four or six months of training, the Velcro was awful in that it like wouldn't stick. And in um, Alves Mondaire's, sorry dude, <laughs> video, uh, he even had he was connecting them and he was, so, he was able to easily just flick them off and I was having the same exact problem so this is my really quick really cheap solution my original intent was I was gonna go to a tailor and try to have them um, un, unthread or whatever unthread the velcro part off and then rethread a new one on so the problem isn't actually this part of the velcro which I'm going to call the spiky part of the Velcro. The problem is actually the um, like the softer, fabricy part of the Velcro that would stick. So I didn't have to replace any of this, but it's this one that was awful. Um, I took the cheapest route possible, and I, I found these little Velcro things. Um, and all I had to do, and I don't want to ruin it, just for sake of showing everyone, but I cut off, I cut the middle of the Velcro out, so the outside that's actually been threaded is still there, and it it really doesn't bother me too much. Um, and and I thought I was gonna have to do like additional super glue or something to keep this part of the Velcro on, but the little stickiness of the Velcro in itself was enough. It was fine. So. This took, I, I, think, I think I did it in my living room in about five minutes, and um, I got these for about like two dollars. And uh, so what has it been? It's been like two months now and they're still solid, so, so even if I have to replace them again, you know, once every six months, a two dollar replacement really isn't bad compared to going to a tailor and paying like maybe like forty dollars or something like that. But um... Aside from that, I'm back at school, back to my Olympic lifting, uh, basically finding my schedule, and hopefully I'll be posting stuff pretty soon. Maybe if you're looking around my room, you can see I got some pretty awesome pictures. Go check out my dude Milo Goes to the Gym. Okay guys, I'll see you later, bye.